Greetings, Ascended Nation. So I'm coming to you with another reading. Okay, I was getting ready to put my cards up, but my guys wanted me to keep going with this what's hidden. If you're new, welcome. If you're not new, welcome. Make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. I greatly and truly appreciate it. Also, make sure you're following me over on TikTok as well. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. Remember to take what resonates, what does not resonate with you. Leave it right here. Okay, so, sorry y'all, I'm back. I had to take a phone call. So, let's go ahead and get into this reading. All right, remember to take what resonates, what doesn't leave it right here. So, the first set of cards we have, and once again, this is what's hidden, the 12th house, okay, ruled by Pisces and Neptune energy. All right, so things may come out surrounding spirituality, magic, you know, things that's hidden, okay, would definitely show up in this reading. So, and I used um, a DIY oracle, used my Truth Teller oracle, and I used my Kipper deck. So, we have tunnel vision, all right? So, you could be focused, 111 I just saw. So, you could be focused on your, whatever it is, like goals, your endeavors, okay? You also could be someone who is like tapped in, okay? Because when this tunnel vision card came out, it flew over to um, an Odin uh, picture that I have here on my desk. So that could definitely be significant. And Odin speaks about psychic insight, okay? Your third eye is significant, okay? Your third eye is open, see truth for what it is, follow your intuition, and y'all just heard the water bottle. So confirmation, all right? Double confirmation from Odin that you are seeing things for what they are and your third eye is open, okay? Don't let anyone try to overshadow that, all right? So to further clarify this, we have pathway. So the number 35 could be significant, all right? Someone here could be like empress energy, all right? Um, a mother figure could definitely be significant. Um, higher fine energy, energy, okay, could be significant. Some sort of um, institution and or organization could be significant as well, all right? Something could be significant here too about, the, about number eight, okay? Infinite um, abilities and possibilities is significant. Scorpio energy, okay? So you have Scorpio somewhere in your chart transformation and rebirth, okay? The month of August could be significant as significant as well. And I think that's Leo Virgo energy, okay? So something about something along your pathway, you being able to see, you knowing what you're destined for, your life purpose is significant. Following that, we have high honor. So you could be someone who is held in high honor, okay? Um, in the spirit as above is so below okay um so more of that something that you're doing in the spirit is trickling trickling down okay i'm hearing uh well trickling down okay and something that you're being aligned you are aligned for okay that i'm hearing as well okay we got two and five all right so high priest this high priest energy is significant here <clears throat> as well heavy on that tunnel vision okay and we got higher font as well again 55 could definitely be significant here and 55 for me talks about the will of fate 10 and but it also talks about corrupt organizations institutions you know stuff like that okay so to further clarify this tunnel vision, we have pan for spell work overseas, okay? So there could be someone who is paying for, or people who are paying for spell work overseas, okay? This could be um, to cloud your judgment, okay? Or to mess around with your vision or, you know, your pathway or something like that. Then we have group of women who sleep with each other. So something could be significant. Something could be significant about a group of women who are paying for spell work overseas, okay? Following that, we have a, in a secret relationship or marriage with a transsexual, okay? So that could be significant. Then we have athlete involved, okay? So this athlete involved uh, card been coming out like crazy, okay? Um, there is a specific athlete that um, spirit showed me 
in the dream state. Okay, if you follow me, you have seen me post about it on my community tab. Okay, so that could definitely be significant. Following that, we have seeing red. All right, so someone could be seeing red due to your tunnel vision. Okay, 455. All right, this could be a masculine energy that is a part of some sort of corrupt organization. Okay, um, but to further clarify this, someone could be seeing red because they know that they're going to be in poverty or there is something that you could be revealing when it pertains to someone um, that may be in, in poverty. Okay, so this could not just be a masculine, but I just saw 455. 4 talks about an emperor energy or a father figure. Okay, but this could be feminine energy too. Okay, so just take what resonates. But we have 37 here. Okay, so uh, more of that third house energy. Something could be significant about communication and some sort of business partners. Okay, so something surrounding that. They could be getting some sort of communication when it pertains to them losing everything or being impoverished. Okay, following that, we have social media platform projecting and using frequencies. Okay, so like I said, there could be, you could be someone who does something on uh, social media or something about your social media, okay? And there is some sort of frequencies that are being projected, okay? Um, me, I tend to notice that when I play certain frequencies, certain apps go cuckoo crazy, <laughs> okay? So that's one way that you will know or one way that you will find out, okay? So yeah, something significant about social media platforms, some, someone watching you too and projecting is significant, Okay, following that, we have stay focused, all right, 333, three, three, all right, so spirit wants you to remain focused on your path, on your journey. Do not become distracted by these people projecting towards you, all right? Then we have God's promise, a table amongst your enemies. They can't touch you, okay? So, and a table that they can't touch, all right? So, that's double confirmation, um, spirit wants you to stay focused on your journey because spirit God is preparing a table for you amongst your enemies. Okay. And they could be saying red due to this. Okay. What they're finding out is making them angry or upset. 77 is significant false contracts. Following that, we have your love so much by your ancestors. Okay. So yeah, you are protected. All right. Next. We have group, I mean, grounds for deception. I was about to say groups deception. So there could be a group who is very deceptive, who likes to wear a mask, okay? Um, 77, I did just say, which talks about fa false contracts, okay? Um, endings, okay? So the grounds for deception, we have expectation, all right? So there could be, there could be, some sort of information or some sort of karma because eight and two is 10, the will of fate, all right, that is uh, going on right now or playing out right now, okay? Someone could be expecting whatever this is. There could be a high priest or a high priestess energy that may need strength right now. They're needing strength, okay? Someone could have been dibbling and dabbling in some sort of magic or dark arts, okay? Being deceptive, wearing a mask is significant. Someone is expecting this woman on this expectation card is looking at the poverty card, okay? So someone is definitely, these people are expecting whatever this is, okay? Following that, we have mature woman. So something could surround a uh, mature woman, an older woman, okay? It does not, does not mean this person is mature. They could just be older in age, all right? The number six could definitely be significant. Something could surround someone's health, okay? That could be significant, all right? And I'm hearing seven, okay? So uh, relationships, marriage, there could be something about some sort of false marriage as well, okay? Um, so to further clarify this grounds for deception card, we have you were stolen as a child. That's not your family. So this is the second time that this card has come out in this particular, this type of reading, okay? Following that, we have build a bitch energy, okay? So someone is not who they appear to be, okay? Someone wanting to live in your skin is definitely significant, especially clarifying this grounds for deception, all right? Someone trying to turn another into you if you're a feminine, okay? So a masculine trying to turn a feminine into you, or if you're a masculine, um, someone trying to turn a masculine into you is significant, okay? Next, we have intentional behavior. 
okay? And following that for this grounds of deception, take heed to what I'm about to say. We have the purge election year movie is significant, okay? So election, corruption, church cult, rigged election, corrupt politicians, corrupt pastor is definitely significant here, okay? So we then have clue, all right? So spirit could be sending you some sort of clues when it pertains to um, we do have what's hidden here. So y'all, if y'all know, you know, if you're familiar with the game clue, okay, you basically obtain certain clues until you got to the weapon, the room and the person. Okay. So that could definitely be significant here. All right. And spirit is blowing in my ears. So confirmation. All right. So something could be significant here about spirit sending you some clues or, um, there could be something coming out in reference to a wealthy man or someone who pretends to be wealthy, okay? Someone could be a, a corrupt politician, a corrupt leader in some way, shape, or form, okay? And we got the number 13 here. Scorpio energy could definitely be significant, all right? But the, the game clue is significant when it pertains to this energy, okay? Um... Also, number four, something could be coming out when it surrounds someone's home, family, roots, as well, their foundation. Something could be coming out surrounding someone's mother, okay, women and children also, okay. So, we have he's there while you're at work, okay. So, something could be significant here about um maybe some clues left behind some sort of infidelity okay but spirit is saying whatever this is there are clues left behind okay maybe it's something that you're overlooking when it pertains to this infidelity infidelity okay following that we have cult or secret society meeting okay so there's a cult or secret society meeting okay whether it's this week or the weekend all right there's a meeting in current energy all right we do have full moon in aries tomorrow so that could be definitely significant following that we have illness due to illness spells backfiring okay so this cult or secret society could be having a meeting in reference to this something could be taking place with their leader or someone who sits in a prominent uh position okay fourth house could definitely be significant when it pertains to this cult secret society okay confirmation with the beeping in the background okay following that we have tried to steal your destiny okay so they did sick illness spells when it pertains to you okay to so try to steal your destiny and it's backfiring okay so next we have somebody that I used to know. Okay. So that song could definitely be significant. Okay. Um, so this is in reference, some of this energy or whatever is coming out, take what resonates, what doesn't leave right here, but it's in reference to people that you do know. Okay. You don't necessarily have to still be around these people, but some of these people involved are definitely people that, you know, people that spirit has made you aware of because this card is falling under tunnel vision. Okay. People who try to block your path is significant as well. Okay. So to further clarify this, whoever these individuals are that you used to know, they are receiving a message of concern. Okay. Confirmation with the base in the background. So, uh, we got the number five here, 14 reduces down to five. All right. Something could be significant here about a Leo energy. Someone could have a Leo placement in moon. Okay, as well, something could be coming out or coming to the forefront about a Leo as well. Okay, this could be someone that maybe you were in some sort of romance or partnership with also. Okay, there could be some sort of drama, whatever this message of concern is. Okay, could cause some sort of drama. Okay, so... To further clarify this, we have slept with relatives, baby daddy, or significant other, all right? So someone that you used to know slept with a baby father or a significant other or a baby mama, okay? Following that, we have attempted or did magic on your child or children, okay? So someone that you know 
did magic on your child and or children okay then we have that water sign is an agent okay so something could be significant here about a water sign uh pisces cancer scorpio okay someone could be receiving a message of concern okay any of these in um energies that i'm mentioning then we have pretending wearing a mask okay whole community is going down this is definitely a message of concern when it pertains to these individuals, okay? Following that, we have no bullshit, okay? So, Spirit is saying, you ain't got time for BSing with nobody, okay? Nobody that's, that wants to waste your time. No karmic, toxic energy at all, okay? It's unacceptable and it's not allowed, all right? So, we have marriage, okay? So, there could also be like a fake marriage. This goes back to, like I said, I think I mentioned that. Um, and then, uh, with the three here, something, there could be some sort of communication when it pertains to a false marriage, okay? Or something coming out when it pertains to a false marriage as well, okay? So, to further clarify this, we have weekday, all right? So, something could be significant here about the weekday. We did see cult secret society meeting. So, something could be significant here about a meeting before the week is out, okay? Also, we have you're the father, not the uncle, Okay. Also, someone could have put you in a false marriage because they fear being in poverty. Okay. So that could be significant as well. And then, um, someone here is the actual father. Um, and it could be, it could come out that this person is not the uncle, they're the father. Okay. Following that we have is cheaper to keep her. Okay. So someone is in some sort of karmic relationship or has some sort of karmic tied to another uh, due to the fact that it's cheaper to keep whomever this is, all right? Following that, we have, it will be a bunch of slow singing and flower bringing. Biggie Smalls could definitely be significant here, okay? So, and the weekday could definitely be significant, all right? So, next we have something new, okay? So, you could be looking for something new or someone could have... I was also getting an energy of someone moving on to something new and this person could, this could be a masculine. Okay. Take what resonates, switch the roles at need be, but this could be a masculine who moved on to something new, but this person, it could be this masculine and this feminine who are involved in some sort of sex trafficking. Okay. But I do have the card here that says female involved in sex trafficking. So someone's counterpart could be a mature woman who is involved in some sort of sex trafficking. All right. This is how this person obtains some sort of money or funds or whatever it may be. Okay. Exploitation could definitely be significant. All right. Children could be significant as well. So we do have tool and labor. So you could be fake, um, switching jobs here with this something new okay and also like i said someone sex being involved in sex trafficking this is their job this is how they uh, they obtain money okay something could be significant about some sort of communication coming out in reference to this okay the eighth house does talk about sex as well so further confirmation with that someone could also be a sex worker okay as well all right. Then we have thoughts. All right. So someone could be in their head whenever, when it pertains to maybe this information coming out. Okay. Someone could be, um, maybe someone was unaware in some cases. Okay. What someone did for finances. Okay. So that could be significant. Following that, we have splurge with your money. Okay. So someone is a thief here as well. Okay. Following that, and this could be someone too with that something new, someone that you moved on from, okay? Then we have illusions when it concerns matters of the heart. So this is cups energy, all right? So yes, yeah, someone may be um, trying to paint you know, maybe some sort of sob story as to maybe why you moved on could be significant, okay? Uh, someone playing victim could definitely be significant. Maybe trying to get in your head and make you feel as if you're not deserving of love could be significant or you're not loved, okay? So all of that could be significant. Someone who likes to play or who liked to play with your emotions could be significant as well, okay? Then we have money spells, all right? So someone could be in their head too because they could um, be facing some sort of job loss, okay? Something could be significant here. I don't know why I'm getting like 
people being moved out of positions. I got this in another reading, but people being moved out of positions that they know that they're not supposed to be put in. And then you have people who are being put in their rightful places. Okay. People who deserve to be there is definitely significant. And then the 16 too is tower energy. So this, whatever thoughts these are, is causing some sort of tower. Okay. Um, so following that we have legacy. All right. So something is significant here about your legacy. Okay. There could be something surrounding a wealthy man in reverse. Someone could be going broke because they tried to steal someone's legacy or, you know, just, they don't, they didn't achieve, they didn't gain their money or their riches the honest way, basically. Okay. They like to do weird shit to gain this, <laughs> to gain their money or their riches or their level up. Okay. So to further clarify this, we have family room. All right. So we have, um, the number 21. All right. Something could be significant here about a high priest or a high priestess energy. Okay. Magician energy as well. All right. Um, but Someone could have done, like I said, some sort of magic or something. This could be someone in your family, someone you have a family with, or something that's significant about a family unit, okay? Um, this could be a family unit of this wealthy man in reverse, okay? Someone who is going broke, okay? So, we then have sex magic. So, like I said, someone doing weird shit to obtain something is significant, all right? 27, I just saw, okay? 2043, 27, judgment in the chariot, all right? So someone is definitely under judgment and this sex magic has backfired. Okay. Someone definitely did some sort of sex magic rituals and stuff like that to, to, to obtain something that didn't belong to them. Following that, we have codependent. So this could be someone who is extremely codependent. All right. Someone could have wanted you codependent. Okay. Then we have confusion spells. All right. And to top it off, we have stolen inheritance. All right. So yeah. So something could be significant, like I said, about a, a man, a wealthy man who was once wealthy going broke, all right? Something could be significant about his family room or family dynamic, okay? This person could be in their thoughts due to the fact of what they did to obtain finances, all right? Also, there could be something about a mature woman who's connected to this uh, used to be wealthy man. All right. So she could be, be expecting to be in poverty. Okay. As well. This could be someone that maybe he was married to or in a marriage with. Okay. That could be significant as well. All right. Um, and these somehow, some way, maybe these were people who came upon your path way, whoever this married, married couple is. Okay. And they're receiving a message of concern about poverty. All right. So that's everything I have for you, Collective. I hope you enjoyed this reading, and I'll talk to you in the next one.